Yo, what is going on everyone? Ryan back from Furta Heat. Got a fun video for you this Friday. Um, actually just got the day off because it, it, it's, it's a semi-nice day right now. It might get really, really, really cloudy in a bit and kind of taper off um, from the sun for the day. But luckily we're actually getting this beautiful morning sun on my beautiful balcony garden. Um, I got the day, I was going to say, sorry, I got the day off because it rained like 35 millimeters last night or something like that. So our site that we've been working on is basically just completely soaked. And if we were to do any work today, it would just basically undo anything that we did the last couple days. Because then we just have to clean it, clean it up. It, it just it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense doing things essentially three times. But yeah, check this out. Got the beautiful sun on the balcony garden. I want to show this off. Yesterday, my wife and I actually built this little like plant stand for outdoors. We're going to go ahead and check that outdoors in a sec here, guys. Do a mini little harvest. As you can see, that um, sweet pepper plant has just completely, completely ripened up. Almost every pepper on there is ready to go. You might be able to see over there too, guys. The cosmos are in bloom. Unfortunately, I think that middle one might have stunted, but there's so many other bulbs about to come through. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, yeah, everything's doing pretty freaking well right now. The mocha swirl is just starting to come through. I got a little, I got a really cool rock from work that I put with it. Um, out of nowhere, another um, little like um, YOLO wonder I think popped up beside this one. I actually, I don't even know if it's a YOLO wonder. It's a random pepper that I don't think I planted this year. So could be from last year on accident. I have no clue what happened. But yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, set outside in a sec here, guys. Like I said, do a little harvest and a little walkthrough. Oh, all right, you guys. Beautiful, beautiful sunlight right now. We do have a bunch of clouds still kind of looming, so it's kind of like going in and out of sunlight. It feels pretty nice out. Might actually even have to give that guy a little, little watering. Probably later on tonight. You can see you got a beautiful habanero there. Hopefully that one starts ripening soon. And then that's the, uh, that's like the plant stand I got going on there. It seems like that one's just out of the sunlight though, so I'm either gonna shift it that way or just not put a plant there, or maybe I'm just gonna put a bunch of little small, small, small plants there maybe. Might be the plan. And yeah, these are all the unfortunately stunted scotch bonnets because I put them out a little too early. They got, um, they got frosted. They got frosted, flaked per se, and then got slowly, slowly a little bit infested. I've just been picking the bugs off of them. Um, cause they were, um, I guess the bugs jumped, the bugs jumped from the other scotch bonnets over there like that, that guy there in the corner, a couple more over there, they, they seem to jump to these guys, so I've just been taking care of them, there's, the, obviously as you can see there is new growth though, so, slowly but surely hopefully they'll come back, I don't know how many peppers we'll get off them this season, but worst case scenario they'll come in, they'll come inside and hopefully thrive, um, throughout the winter time that's kind of exactly what happened last year it worked out pretty well so maybe that's just what maybe that's just what's meant to be for this year as well but nonetheless guys um up here you got the cosmos you can see look at that so so beautiful maybe that one is actually going to open it looks like it is opening just it's just really big and you can see there's another one on there another one down there yeah you were right kitty you were right these are going to grow like crazy like they're going to grow like weeds but in a good way. <laughs> good weed. <laughs> you can see the cayenne. Cayenne's just gonna start flowering hopefully pretty soon here. Hopefully those will open up to just a bunch of flowers. I love cayenne long thins, man. And like this is the plant we're gonna harvest in just a sec here. And I wanna show you guys this rock before I do though. Look at that beautiful, beautiful rock. I found that, I chipped that out of a rock, um, a rock wall that we were building. So massive, massive boulders that chipped out. And I was like, hmm, I kind of like that. <laughs> I'm going to take that. Yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful. I don't even know what's in there. It's like quartz, quartz, pyrite. I don't even know, dude. It's so cool, though. Anyway, um, yeah, <laughs> I mean... I could review this. Oh, whoops! I could review this forever, forever. This is the cabbage? You can see, unfortunately, we did have a couple little caterpillars, or worms, or something trying to eat it. Same with the collard greens. Um, I took care of a bunch of them yesterday, though. Wiped out most of the, most of the little bad boys that we had. You can see the lettuce. I needed to harvest. I, that's overgrown. I need to harvest that. So I'm probably actually going to harvest that as well during this little mini harvest. Um, you can see the tomato plant making its way up to that top ring, baby. That thing has grown so much. It's just starting to put out flowers now. Absolutely gorgeous. There's the uh, the, pe or the peonies, I think. Peonies or pansies, whatever. Peonies, I believe. 
are they paying? I don't know. Someone's gonna correct me. I hope someone does. You gotta remember, that was a dollar. This whole tray here, whole raised bed, one dollar. 50 cents per little like six dish. And yeah, it's thriving like crazy. Like look at that, none of those, none of these were even out when I planted them. I don't think any of those were out. Yeah, just looking gorgeous and they're just spreading like crazy. Like those are all gonna grow up there. Those are growing out. This is This should be a very, very, very beautifully full bed by the end of summer here in like two months or so. Uh, trimmed up the scented geranium yesterday, give it a nice trimming, so hopefully it'll uh, start thriving in the next coming days here. Those jalapenos are just starting to raise up. Hopefully they'll look something similar to that in a month here. In about a month, I expect to be that. That'd be really, 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 really nice. Um, yeah, that massive tomato is just starting to put out more and more and more. I'll hopefully maybe get over there later, guys. We'll see. Um, you can you can see it in there, too, just behind the, the jalapenos there. The cauliflower is actually growing tall and big. Yeah, everything's just starting to thrive. But, yeah, I'll go back behind me, and we'll start harvesting those plants, and we'll get to the lettuce. And then, yeah, maybe I'll do the rest of the balcony. We'll see. But maybe I'll just save it for another video whenever it's grown in a bunch more. All right, guys, I'm going to just hope this angle works somewhat decent, as I have before. And we will harvest uh, this plant. Looks like we got quite a lot. Again, I can't believe, like, look what this looks like. That looks so crazy. That looks like Reaper-ish Trinidad Scorpion-like. That's... I almost want to take a bite right now to see the heat level. Because, like, it, I don't... It's not supposed to be spicy at all, but I had one, and it was hot. I almost want to try one. Maybe we'll do that in this video. We'll see. <coughs> beautiful, beautiful. Getting a lot here. Yeah, these all just ripened up the last couple days here. And then we got a nice, like I said, like a nice rain shower last night. And everything was just thriving. Beautiful. in that one. I love the mix, the mix colors so nice. <coughs> kind of almost want to leave the one that looks a little chocolatey still. Nice. Jeez, it looks like we're gonna get at least, looks like we're gonna get like 20 off of this guy here. We're getting a lot. Oh, look at this bad boy. Look at that guy. This looks like a freaking radish, man. These peppers are so interesting. Oops. Took a little too much there, but oh well. actually like when you're able to see there's actually a lot more peppers coming through I, I thought like every single one was pretty much right but there's a ton more coming through I'll probably let maybe I'll let these uh, hard to say they seem like they're pretty much done like they're little like little cherry bombs I might just harvest them honestly I don't know if they'll grow I mean maybe they'll grow bigger maybe I'll leave them to see if they'll grow bigger now that I've harvested the rest it's possible <coughs> Grab this guy. That guy looks sweet. Yeah, the rest are like a little bit chocolatey. You can kind of maybe see in there. I don't know how, again, I don't even know what you guys can see or not right now, but it looks a little chocolatey, so we'll let those guys go a little longer. And let the rest of the plant keep thriving, man. It's a very, very productive plant. Holy crap. I've probably already gotten like 30 peppers off this guy. You can see I got, I don't know, again, I don't know if you can see that, like 15 or so there. Oops. 
then I did one also. Get down here and harvest this uh, Megatron. There we go. Oh, that just broke, the jalapeno broke like right off perfectly. It was perfectly ready to be harvested. I wonder if the other ones will do the same. Don't even need the, yep, just, oh man, cracked right off. They were, they're literally perfect, ready to go jalapenos. Again, these are the Megatrons, guys. Gonna be a ne another really, really, really productive plant of mine, hopefully the jalapeno plant. I only have one this year. I had like five last year. I only got one. And we'll uh, move our way over here and get to this lettuce. All right, guys. I know this video is already actually pretty long. It's probably almost damn near 10 minutes at this point. But yeah, guys, that is the lettuce harvested. That's what it looks like right now. I want to get this on video because guys, this should actually just, it should pretty much look exactly like it did before I harvested it in about a month. I've had lettuce once before, and if this continues to thrive, it should just grow right back to exactly where it was within like a month, maybe even less, we'll see. This one I'm little, not concerned about, but just intrigued about. I'm not too sure what to do with it. Um, I don't think I should have cut it back more. I think cutting it back to there was fine. Um, somebody in the comments let me know if I could do it a little bit more, but I think that's I think that's fine honestly. I mean it was growing right out the side just like that anyway, so yeah. Hopefully next we'll be harvesting cabbage, some tomatoes, a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I'll save that portion of the balcony for another video guys, but yeah, beautiful, beautiful harvest.